guys. Uh, coming to you today with kind of a weird thing. Um, a new thing I want to try. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do short little videos about what I did in Star Wars this week. A lot of times, you know, I'm reading stuff to review or play catch up on. Um, sometimes I'm watching stuff, you know, research for things. Sometimes I'm just engaging in Star Wars because I like it. So this is just kind of my like, rather than sit down and like, write reviews, which I'm still going to do, or do video essays, which I'm still going to do. I'm just going to talk about, like, the things I'm doing for, for Star Wars. My buddy, Professor Django, should also be joining me in these. So this is just kind of our little fry date, our little update every Friday on, on Star Wars things we did. Uh, I'm going to have a lot to talk about this week because I'm going to cheat and talk about the last couple of weeks. I won't be able to cheat anymore after that. So I've been reading for a long time this Oh, uh, when Django sees this, he's gonna laugh because I've been reading this since, I think, January. I have read, this is Rogue Squadron by Michael Stackpole. It's a great book. I read it years ago. I made a pact with a bunch of people that we were all gonna read it, and then I still haven't finished it. And uh, that's because I recently got a new shift at work. Just sitting down and reading has been a little bit tough. Uh, I recently finished this. This is the last book published in the U.S. by... Uh, the, or in the Adventures in Wild Space series, the last one called The Rescue comes out in a little bit. Fun fact for those of you with the U.S. versions, uh, the book attributes it to Tom Huddleston, who we recently interviewed, uh, but Kevin Scott wrote this one. Huddleston writes the next one, The Rescue, which is kind of strange. I also, re also recently acquired these. So these are all three of the Aftermath books on paperback. I'm super bummed because I just discovered that my cover for Empire's End is torn. Um, and I'm not sure if I did that or not, but I'm, I probably did. So I'm going to think, if any of you know how to do book surgery on fixing covers, let me know. But I think I have some ideas. Uh, but I'm really excited to reread these um, once I get back to having the energy to read. Now that I've watched The Last Jedi, I want to glean more information out of that. And then, just yesterday, I finished this. A lot of times, I get my comics from the library. But I actually bought this one because Mace Windu is my second favorite Jedi. Uh, after Ki Adimundi. Just kidding. Yoda. Yoda's my favorite Jedi. Ki is pretty cool though, but this was actually pretty good. Uh, I was a little... I, it didn't start off the best, to be fair. I don't like being rain cloud. I was a little worried right at the get-go. I didn't think it was going to be all together that amazing, mostly because this picture of Yoda, he looks like he did really bad drugs the day before. But it actually ended up being really good. It's a lot about whether or not the Jedi were betraying themselves and being hypocritical by going to war, um, which is a lot more complicated than you think it is. So if you think it's not complicated, you should think more. So I think it's a very complicated issue. So that was really good. So this is some of the stuff I'm going to be reviewing soon. Some of it I'm just going to be reading. Uh, I really do need to finish my reread of Rogue Squadron because I promised a bunch of people that I would. Uh, but that's kind of what I've been up to in Star Wars this week. That's what I've been engaging in. Uh, I've actually been playing a lot of games that are not Star Wars related. Don't tell anyone that I do non-Star Wars things. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm gonna throw it over to my boy Professor Django to see what he's been up to. Hey, Professor Django here with our Friday update. Uh, so this week I want to share a couple things that I've been reading with you. Uh, first off, as you may have heard on a couple of our other videos, uh, I am in the middle of book four uh, of the X-Wing series. This is the Back to War uh, by Michael Stackpole. I'm about halfway through with that, so I've been doing a reread uh, of some Legend stuff. Uh, I've been working my way through the X-Wing series, so I've read a lot of Legend stuff, but I never read the X-Wing books. Uh, so I'm in the middle of the Back to War right now, talking about Corrin Horn and Wedge Antilles uh, and the fight against the Imperial Remnant. Uh, some other things that I've been reading this week. Uh, so I actually picked up three different comics uh, at one of my local comic shops this week. All of these have been out for a little over a month, so they're not exactly uh, the newest thing. And I do plan on doing some reviews of this stuff uh, on the channel eventually. Uh, the first one of these is I got Star Wars uh, DJ Most Wanted. So this is a story uh, about the character DJ from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Uh, and uh, as you, you might be interested to know, I won't spoil a whole lot of it for you right now, but DJ is not Ezra. So DJ, not not Ezra. That's not a thing. Uh, but DJ Most Wanted uh, by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker are the writers here. Uh, and you can find, uh, find a review on that later on. 
Next up, other comics that I've bought and read this week. I also picked up uh, Star Wars The Storms of Crate. Uh, so this is a story uh, that happens right after uh, the Battle of Yavin in A New Hope. Uh, it finds the Rebellion looking to, to find a, a new rebel base. Uh, this is before they've settled on Hoth. And one of the places they try out is Crate. Again, the location that we see in The Last Jedi. So it's a tie-in there to the newest film. Uh, but Leia knows that her father had a base on Crate, which is um, also part of the, the novel Leia, Princess of Alderaan. Uh, so it ties into a couple of different new canon things here. Um, but this is a really good story. We get to see uh, kind of undeveloped Luke Skywalker in an early adventure uh, with Han and Leia uh, and Chewie. Uh, it's actually a really good, really good uh, sort of one-shot here. Uh, and the last thing that I've been reading this week uh, is Star Wars Forces of Destiny Hera. Uh, so they put out uh, at the first of the year several different Forces of Destiny comics, each featuring uh, a female Star Wars character. And Hera is one of my favorites, so I picked this one up. Uh, this is a story. Uh, I'm not quite sure when it happens in, in the uh, Rebel Saga, but it does happen before uh, the end of Season 4, at least, uh, for those of you that have been tracking with our Season 4 uh, Rebels coverage. Uh, it's a really good story uh, about Hera trying to work with a Rebel cell uh, on another planet to fight against the Empire. Uh, and that's been all the stuff that I've been doing in the Star Wars world this week. So I have, of course, still been playing Star Wars Bounty Hunter. You can find those videos on our channel. And that's been my Friday update from your boy, Professor Django. Back to you, Yoda Bauer. So there you have it. We're all up to exciting stuff. Let us know in the comments what you're doing, what you're up to, what do you do uh, with Star Wars every week. Follow us at Port Haven Forums on the Twitter and uh, visit port-haven.com for more. Visit forums.port-haven.com and let us know what you're reading. There's a whole area to talk about that. And uh, as always, keep it real. Fly casual. Cooking can be fun! <laughs>